Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play The Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 2 for Game Boy. In the first video we played through the first five stages, I actually had one of the enemies from the last stage not in my notes for some reason. Thankfully, I managed to complete my notes for all of the enemies that I need. The buzzard enemy that kept chasing me around was Becky... Oh, Beaky Buzzard. I don't know why I said Becky there. Beaky Buzzard acts the same way that Taz and Wily E do. And let me look at my notes. Yeah, they don't use the tight ropes, and they pretty much act like. Yeah, they pretty much act like Wily E. I was almost gonna say they act like little ghosts, but Wily E will leave a platform. Anyway, stage six. The password is Word. We're going to go over here. Why am I waiting any longer than I should? I might as well just go ahead and get the bow and arrow. Get rid of you. I can't believe I did that. And that is a... That is a 10 ton weight. Don't know why it's taking me long, forever to say a thing, but... Well, I am, and therefore I just have to deal with it. That is a key. Cut me some slack here. I'm not playing this game with any practice runs because, well, it's just more fun that way. These games are. And we're already halfway to having all the keys. There's the pickaxe. We also have the sledgehammer, too. I may do things this way. Let's see how things go. Let me see what happens if I go down to here. Please don't give me a... Ooh. I may save that for a little later. Nope. Okay, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. There we go. Let's see if they come after me. Okay. Okay. They don't double back immediately, which is a good thing. I'll just go ahead and drop down here. Thankfully, the little ghost won't be able to come after me in that manner. Of course, I will have to take the pipes again. Where does this take me? I wonder. Uh, all the way up there. Well, we can just go up this way. We can leave the little ghosts alone because we don't have to hit them for any reason. This is a little more pleasant than what we were dealing with in the last couple of stages. And there is a clock. The clock will stop enemies for a brief amount of time. Get rid of you. And that carrot gives us a 1-up, which is really nice. I will definitely take that. And here is the last key. And I managed to save one of my bow and arrow shots. Sadly, I won't be able to take it with me to the next level. But we do have all the keys we can go into this door. We now have seven lives. I don't really remember how stage seven is going to be. But stage seven's password is shop. And I like how this is going. We kind of start down near the bottom. We go, Then we make our way to the left side of the castle. We work our way up again. And then we go towards the middle and then we kind of zigzag and then we kind of go down and then into the right side of the castle where that one tower is. I'm assuming that's where Honey Bunny is going to be. Now that we've taken a good look at the map, we can do things. Um, Dark Hector. Um, he only goes up pipes and stairs and never down. Also, that is a shield. I want to save that for when I really need it. Also, some of these rooms will have nothing in them. And the lightning bolt. Actually, that is not the shield. That is a icon that will get rid of all on-screen enemies. Which is something you do necessarily need. you just going to be... I, I would imagine there will be times when you would have to be careful with them because, hey, the more enemies you have on, on screen, when you touch one, the more enemies you'll be able to get rid of and not have to deal with anymore. And there is the dark Taz to the left there. The Dark Taz acts different depending on what stage you're on. If you're on an even number stage, they only go up. 
And if you run an odd number stage, they only go down. They will only go down in this stage. And there's a key. Let's go ahead and use our shield. Sadly, the shield does not wipe out enemies. It only protects you from them. Now, of course, there will be times where dart tests do go down, but that's only because they're falling off platforms. And there's Sylvester. There's the Sledgehammer. Should I be worried? Not really. Hey, um, you are acting funny. Please don't do that. At least you can't go off platforms, amazingly. I did not want to hit that. I don't know why the game thought I wanted to, but I did not. Um, let's go down here and see what happens. There's another key. There's another thing right here. There's the exit. And, hmm, I need to be careful of where I go. And thankfully, you can kind of change the direction of where you want to go, just in case. You do go up ladders. I should keep that in mind. And I may have to get rid of you. Well, anyway. We have things that we can do around here now. Such as running the task for no reason. I, I was trying to press up right there and the game would not let me. Closed door again. And I didn't get rid of you, sadly. Fun. I may have to use an extra bow and arrow. That's just peachy. Now, hopefully, I won't lose all my lives again. Or, a life again. I've got so many things on the brain, and all of a sudden, I'm subconsciously thinking of the first Game Boy game. I don't know why that is. And... I might as well just go ahead and go up the pipe here. No, there's Dark Taz right there. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, this is not going so well. Nothing is going well right now. And... There we go. Let's see what happens. All right. Come on. How did I not... That was wild. Well, I managed to get away from everybody okay. Let's go ahead and go back into this door. And then make our way up and up again. Up arrow. I need to remember to sometimes press the button. Okay. I'm going to get rid of you just to be safe. And this time, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to warp back up. Apparently, the... Apparently, Hector cannot go up ladders, apparently. Or maybe he can, but just refuses to for whatever reason. Well, as long as I can get away from him, that's all right. I just need to remember not to use the sledgehammer on that block, because that will kind of cost me, I believe. Let's go in here. Let's get another bow and arrow. Let's go into this door, get another key. Let's try not to mess everything up too badly. 
as we do all of this. And I am now going to go back up here. And there are these two doors. Let's see what's in them. And now I am missing a door somewhere. So let's see where we can go. Please tell me it's nowhere near the bottom. Because I would hate to find out that it is. Oh no, it's over here. Excellent. Which means... Hmm. Oh, that's right. It's over here. Well, we got stage 7 done. And I've been recording for about 11 minutes. So we are now still at 7 lives. This one is doable if you know what you're doing. And stage 8 is size. This should be a little interesting. Those shaded platforms to the left there, those things do act as fall through floors, so you do have to be careful. There is a key right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Actually, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what happens if we head to the right from here. Well, it looks like we have no other place to go than back up. So, yeah, we should have went into this door first because that's how we're going to get the sledgehammer. And you know what? There's nothing else we can really do here. So let's go ahead and break things. But what do we break? Well, we're going to find out somehow. I suppose. And I didn't want to do that game. Oh, good grief. Well, I still have one thing of ammo. Well, I have the strange feeling that that's probably going to cost me. We shall see. We shall see as we play through everything the hard way and try to figure things out as we go. In usual pioneering fashion because that's how a Prince Watercress Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle Let's Play works. Usually. I mean, I don't see them working any other way. And while I could practice them, well, things may not always go right. So therefore, why not do any practice? Why do any practice runs at all? Ah, uh, this may cost me. This may definitely cost me. Come on. Uh, I'm not liking any of this. Well, at least we can break this and see what's going on up here. Ah, uh, another of the keys. There's Wily E. He's gonna give us a hard time. He's gonna go up the pipe because he doesn't know what to do with himself. And I think I may have trapped myself doing all this. Yep, we're done. Okay. Well. We might as well go down the pipe and then go back up. And this time, let's not mess things up as we... Oh, really? Oh, this can't possibly be any fun. Should I be waiting? Should I wait and do this? Apparently I should. Let's go ahead and get that sledgehammer back and then go down here. All right, let's go ahead and grab the key again. Uh, 
And let's see what happens if we do things like this. He better not double back. He's gonna double back. You know what? That's fine. We can go back and get this. Now, let's make sure that when we do things in these stages, or rather in this stage in particular, well, basically, the same could be said for every one of these stages, we use our items carefully. You do want to carefully use items, because you're going to have a bad time if you don't. That should be self-explanatory. Nope. Drop down. Okay. You're gonna try to trap me, you know what, that's fine. You're getting wiped out anyway. And we now have as much of the progress that we had last time. But I feel like I may have messed myself up somehow. I mean... There is a belief that I may have messed up horribly. Come on. Okay. Tap, then go. I'm gonna wait on you. Why are you doubling back? Sam. I can't have this right now, Sam. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to be very careful about how I use my things. And I'm going to get destroyed again. Fun. So, it looks like we're going to have the wait again. And it looks like I may have to lead... No, Sam. Sam, no. It looks like the AI for some of these characters is really wonky. Also, I may have to work my way from one level to the next, it seems. No, no, ugh. Well, at least we can get rid of Sam that way. And what I could do is not get that arrow, bow and arrow at all. But of course, as soon as I break this, I will have to deal with our good friend. Or maybe we won't. Well, that was great. That was good. You get destroyed. I can go over this with the pickaxe that I've picked up. And then I can just break these. Oh, there's Dark Mer. There's Dark Merle in the mouse. He acts the same way as Dark Hector. Okay, I had to check my notes there for a second. He's going to be a pain, so I'm going to have to get rid of him. More than likely. And from here... How do I want to do anything? Well, there's Dark Wily E. What does Dark Wily E do? Same as Dark Taz. Only goes up on even-numbered levels, only goes down on odd-numbered ones. And you do not go up ladders and whatnot. Of course, I'm now afraid to go down there. Uh, I'm not liking this at all one bit. But at least you can't get me. So that's a thing. I may have to get rid of you in order to get rid of other enemies. And I'm surprised that he did not hit me there. It looks like we're going to have to be very careful about how we do a thing. 
in these stages, and this just takes me back to the start, so let's not go over there. Who do I want to take down now? I asked myself. Also, I am now past the 20 minute point, and you are somehow over there. And you can go. Great! I've trapped myself now. That went horribly. That went very, very badly. So we only managed to complete two levels in this video. Oh, that was bad. I was expecting to do just a little bit more. Apparently this is the point where the kid gloves kind of come off. Well, not to worry. We will get this, get, get this game done. Hopefully I'll find a way to get past stage 8. I had a good idea of how to do things this time, but at the same time, eh, there's not enough things to go around sometimes, sadly. So I'm going to have to be pretty resourceful in how I do things in stage 8. But that'll have to wait until the next video. So join me next time where we hopefully try to get through stage 8. And then see what else we can play through in this game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!